Hi, this is Laura Milligan. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you for joining me today as I share with you a video tutorial. I just wanted to show you how I put my project together today for the blog hop. I just made a little envelope pouch and inside is a card. This will go in my daughter Faith's lunchbox on the first day of school, which is next week. So this slides right off. It's just attached in the back and then this little envelope and inside is a little card for her. It says make today ridiculously amazing and this is from the stamp set called Amazing Birthday. Um, it is perfect for birthdays but I thought it was kind of fitting for the first day of school as well and I hope she does have a great day. There's the inside of the card. And I'll write a note to her and mention that when she gets home from school there will be a big batch of chocolate chip cookies waiting for her. That's been my tradition with my girls for, gosh, probably over 20 years, probably close to 23 years. So I wanted to show you how I made this little envelope. So let me move out just a titch here. Okay. I use the envelope punch board. And I just found the card size that was closest to mine the little card that I made and so I cut my paper five and a half by five and a half and it says the score line is two and three eighths. So I'm going to line this up two and three eighths and punch and I'm going to pull my stylus out and because I'm left-handed I always turn this and do it this way and I just find my groove and I just go back and forth slowly until I get that right in place and from there on out you just use the score line and this little foot here, little tab, that's what you want to line your score, your score line with. And you're going to punch and score. And turn. Line up that foot with your score line and punch. Score. Turn again. Punch and score. And that's all there is to it. You can see how this will take shape. And it's really fun to do this with pattern designer paper because then the cute pattern shows. And then what I decided to do was to round these two tabs, flaps I guess they're, they're called. And I just put that at the top here and punch and you get a perfectly rounded corner. And then I'll do the same thing with that side. So that'll go together like this. I will attach this piece. I usually use sticky strip and then leave this part open for her to slide the card out. Let me bring my little card in here one more time. And I thank you for stopping by today.